All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say every guitar player should have one of these, a Boss Katana series amplifier. I'm gonna give you five reasons why it's absolutely a good idea, no matter who you are, to have one of these amps. This specific amplifier has a really cool story behind it and how it came to me. So stick around to the end of the video for that, and it's gonna explain why this video has a fundraiser attached to it as well. Reason number one every guitar player should have one of these amps is that they are all actually audio interfaces. Now they're not audio interfaces like you would have on your desk at home for your home studio setup. They are audio interfaces in that you can take the tones that you're getting out of the amplifier, use the USB output on the back and go right into your computer and favorite DAW. This is useful even if you already have a studio setup that you're normally working out of. I can think of multiple scenarios where maybe you're traveling, maybe this is a demo rig for you and you're in a hotel room and you can't really use the speaker but you wanna get the tones that you can get out of this amplifier and record them into your computer. Well, this USB output allows you to do that. The possibilities are kind of endless and I do think it's extremely useful for anybody who plays guitar. Reason number two everyone needs one of these amps is it comes with some really cool and very useful onboard effects. You get reverb, you get delay, and you get modulation effects. And there are three different varieties in each one of those categories that you can choose from. That's kind of the meat and potatoes when it comes to guitar effects. And you can get almost anything you need out of a combination of those three. So if you have this amplifier and you're practicing or you're recording demos or maybe rehearsing, you don't wanna have a pedal board, maybe you can't have a pedal board, this is gonna cover almost everything that you would need in most scenarios. Obviously, it's not gonna replace your favorite pedal board, but it's going to give you a really, really convenient option if you, for some reason, don't have access to your pedal board. Speaking of pedal boards, reason number three everyone should have one of these amplifiers is directly related to pedal boards. So many of us have boards or modelers that are set up to go direct to a recording interface or direct to a PA system. What if you have your direct amp modeler and you say, you know what, I do want some stage volume, but I don't want to bring an amplifier and I don't want to rely on floor monitors. Boss Katana has you covered. There's something called the power amp in on the back of this. Now what this allows you to do is basically turn these amplifiers into a powered cabinet where you are bypassing all of the stuff up front where you're gonna get the different tones and amp modeling and effects that are built into the unit. Instead, you can go right by that and take your direct output of a Helix or your pedal board that has a DI option on it and go right into this and you have the ability to then have some stage volume for yourself through a guitar cabinet. Speaking of volume, reason number four everybody needs one of these amplifiers is the power control knob on them. This gives you tons of versatility in lower volume practice or rehearsal or even performance situations. You can dial these amplifiers and their wattage back so you can maintain the tone that you're going for, but not blow out your ears or somebody else's ears. Now, obviously this is not a tube amp. This is a solid state amplifier. So we're kind of bridging the gap between two worlds here and applying a principle that normally doesn't exist in the solid state world. But I can tell you, it's actually a really useful option. So think about if you're in your bedroom, dial it back to the half watt setting. If you're on stage, take it and crank it all the way and put it at the highest watt setting and you actually have plenty of power to fill up the stage, maybe even a room, depending on where you're performing. Reason number five, everybody should have one of these amplifiers is that you can grow with it. If you're a beginner, this is a phenomenal starting point for an amplifier, but guess what? You don't need to get a new one after you get some time under your belt and maybe you're starting to play gigs or playing a band this and all of its different forms are going to carry you through very far into your guitar adventures there's really no reason for most of us that you're going to need anything more than this now obviously tube amps are great louder amps are great and they're going to be scenarios where you want to graduate to those but if you get one of these as a beginner it's not gonna limit you in any way. You are gonna have plenty of options, plenty of power, plenty of tones to where you can stay using this amplifier and focus on playing or maybe getting a different guitar, maybe some pedals, and not worry about the fact you need to upgrade your amp. So as promised, here's the story of how I got this specific amplifier. YouTube is an amazing thing. I did not expect to end up 
where I am doing these types of videos on YouTube. And I certainly didn't expect the interaction and positive response that I get from you, my subscribers. It's so cool every time one of you likes a video, dislikes a video, leaves a comment, shares one of my videos. I appreciate it more than you know. I had a really cool interaction with one of you and one of you who shall remain anonymous reached out to me and said, hey, listen, I am getting rid of some things and I have this Boss Katana amplifier that I don't use. Can you use it? Do you want it? And my mind was blown because that is incredibly generous. These are not, you know, $5,000 boutique amplifiers, but it's certainly nothing to shake a stick at. These are $300 amplifiers. These are really nice pieces of gear and somebody wants to give me one. That's insane. I don't feel like I deserve somebody giving me anything. I just enjoy making these videos for you and I hope you get something out of them. So after some back and forth debating, should I pay for the shipping? Not, you know, whatever. They shipped me the amplifier and we talked. And I think because it's so cool that this is here and helping me in my studio and I get to make this video for you with it, I wanted to attach a fundraiser to this video. Now, I'm not gonna say which charity is attached to the video because honestly over time I might switch it out and change it. So I want it to be sort of evergreen, but you'll notice that there is a fundraiser attached to this video. So in lieu of me paying for the shipping for this amplifier, I'm gonna donate to the first charity that I attached to the video. And if you feel so inclined, I encourage you to do the same. If not, I so appreciate you just watching this video. Things like this where somebody contacts me and says, hey, can you use this piece of equipment. It just, I mean, it just proves like how cool the guitar community really is. Oftentimes we get caught up in a lot of the message boards and comment sections where it's a lot of negativity and a lot of differences of opinion, we'll say, but um, really cool connections are made in the comment section. This is one of them. I cannot tell you how appreciative I am. You know who you are for sending me uh, this, this amplifier. I will put it through good use probably make a few more videos on it. And uh, I don't know, I'll just keep you posted as to what the future holds for this thing. But I really do think everybody could use one of these. I really do think that. That's not just a clickbait title. I really actually think that this is an incredibly useful tool for anybody at any stage of their guitar playing career. So with that being said, thank you so much. Please consider donating to the fundraiser attached to this video and I'll catch you in the next one.